Speaking of Saturday, and I know it's Monday. Yeah. Is it too I, early no. to talk about the forecast for the weekend? It was two reasons, A, because we just like to because it's Monday. <laughs> uh, but secondly, there could be some tropical stuff this week. Okay. If it pans out. I mean, there's still days away, but it could be like northern Gulf. Could be a rainmaker for us. But I'll show you what the models have to say about it so far. So in between all that, though, it's going to be a quiet week after we get these last couple of storms out of here tonight. And then a few of them in our southern counties tomorrow. 78 is the current number. I had us pointing toward the north. You can see the lightning flashing from that uh, cluster there every once in a while, but it's live TV. We can't sit there for three minutes waiting on that. Here's a look at the radar shot and you can see the lightning is still hanging top here. All right, so this is going north to south. As you can see, this is Jasper County going on down or Lake Juliet starting to get in on the action now with some lightning there heading into Northwest Jones County. We just slide the map up a little bit and you can see where this is eventually going to head on down into Macon here in a little bit if this holds. So if you were thinking, well, we ended up with some rain in the evening after all, and that was probably it. Nope. Maybe this is it. We'll see. And so far it is not weakening down. So this would be another round of rain. This just to show you that they can slam on brakes in a matter of seconds. So this one over here in Washington County was gone and then fell apart as it made its way into Johnson County. Let's zoom out and you can see just little isolated storms out there. Now frontal boundary sagging southward is going to push rain potential for the rest of the week for us south. Here's a look at tonight. The high rose model doesn't even pick up on those storms, so let's go by this. Here's a look at future view for tomorrow afternoon. Notice in the heat of the day, maybe a stray shower storm. It's going to be the you know further south you are, and then riding toward the south. And then once this goes down, humidity levels are coming down pretty good bit actually for this time of year. We can see dew points like 40s or 50s. So that means it's still going to be hot, but not the hot and muggy for this week. All right, there's Wednesday afternoon looks quiet. We get into Thursday is the same thing. All right, so let's get on into the long range model run. We know that we have quiet stuff uh, Thursday. There's Thursday afternoon. We get into Friday. Same thing. Bottom left of your screen. That's an attention grabber right there. All right. So here is the GFS with green and uh, yellow here. The euro is in blue underneath. It's still back here. So let's see how this goes. We don't even have a system yet. We gotta wait and see if this is even gonna form. But the models are picking up on it. Could be a rainmaker. If the GFS is right, it would be Saturday into Sunday for us. If the euro's right, it's a slow poke, and this thing is gonna try to get on in here. Sunday into Monday would be a rainmaker for us. A lot of stuff to figure out over a lot of days. So that sounds awful when you think about it that way. A lot of days to get to the weekend. It's only four more, but the models will figure that out. Here's a look at the numbers. Upper 60s in the morning, tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, I get that. Mid 90s, still hot, but watch this. Dew points as we go through the day tomorrow. Yes, that's much better. I mean, it's not fall or anything like that, but if you couple up 95, 96, or even 97 degrees with dew points in the 40s and 50s, then it just feels like 97 instead of 107. So mainly south if we see any rain tomorrow and then a dry spell for a while, and then we'll have to watch the tropics to see what's up as we head toward Father's Day weekend.